Hi everyone, thanks for tuning in to today's fourth video. We're going to have a look at weather for day 14 days for today's fourth video. Day 10 will take us to the 7th of uh, April. We'll be able to extend out beyond that with the Senate uh, GFS and ECM ensembles. Very much around a couple of weeks. We'll have a look at the CFSV2 at the end of the video for the next four weeks. Gets us into the second half of April, and uh, I shall get on with that for you in a moment. <laughs> Just say that first. Video say at 6 a.m. upload. Also, at the EC five day forecast for the UK and for the rest of Europe as well. And uh, a little bonus video looking at Easter, the second installment of the Easter countdown. So, if you could please like, share, subscribe on this. Thanks so much, everybody, for doing that. And I hope you have a lovely Tuesday as well, by the way. Right, so your start off searching temperature with CT is currently sitting. At 6.6, uh, .6, which is 0.9 of a degree above average, that provisional to yesterday, to the 27th of March. So these with GFS upper air temperature and precipitation ensembles. So that comes we to to London today. The red lines are 30 year upper air temperature average for London. Temperatures are on their way up over the next few days. So it is going to become quite mild through the middle and second half of this week. But during the weekend into next week, we've got the upper air temperatures falling back again. So the first week of April looking a little bit on the cool side there. Second week of April could see a recovery, though, in those upper air temperatures. Precipitation-wise, lots more rain to come over the next few days. But I think we might be seeing signs of a drying trend here as we're going into April. So the very start of April, like the first day or two, could be quite wet. But as we go further on through the first week, and towards the second week of April, do you think we have a drying trend there? I think we've got a little bit of a drying trend beginning to appear. So we might be starting to see signs that uh, we're going to dry out. Maybe we're going to do <laughs> going to do dry April. Uh, after all that magic water on a Friday night over the past few months, I think I need a dry April. <laughs> I don't know. But uh, we may be going to be uh, turning drier into April then. Temperature normally is from the 28th March to the 5th of April. I can be out just a little bit uh, below average in the south, a little bit above average in the north. Most parts of Europe are looking cold, though, particularly so across Scandinavia, you're cold and average anyway. And uh, for wise so 28th of March to 5th of April, dry and average in the north, a little bit wet and average in the south. Could those anomaly maps be starting to trend drier? I think they might be. Right, so we're from Earth, no school. Dot next shows up with changing wind direction again today. We're losing those northerly winds we had over the uh, weekend and uh, yesterday, and we're replacing them with milder southerly or southwesterlies again. Right, let's start every chart data then. We saw the latest UK event, Europe, right, is looking from two. From the weather outlook for midnight on Friday. I'm so sorry, everybody. And uh, we finally got deep area of low pressure coming in off the Atlantic, bringing plenty of uh, wet and windy weather at the end of the week. And these unsettled conditions stay with us into the weekend as well. But very gradually, as we go through the weekend into next week, you notice heights rising, right, both to the north and also the south. So you finish up building up a Scandinavian high by the beginning of uh, next week. Still some influence from the Atlantic trying to push in weather systems into the northwest. That certainly looks more anti-cyclonic both to the south with the ridge from the Azores and also to the east with the high pressure of Scandinavia. Also a trend into early next week in fact turning drier and possibly a little bit spring-like as well if we can start getting the air up from the southwest courtesy of that uh, Azores high. I've got to watch out Scandinavian high though that might bring us east winds which would be quite a chilly wind direction. I can't again looking really unsettled on Friday deep low pressure brings spells of rain as we go into the weekend for those areas of low pressure gradually weakening but still not quite a settled through weekend, but early next week, all this heights begin to rise through the country and up to the north as well. Uh, the trend by this time next week, which is uh, mid down Tuesday, does look a little bit more anti cyclonic. So that's certainly dry out, not particularly warm, but it's certainly drying things out quite a bit. Uh, GFS Midnight Run again with deep low pressure in off the Atlantic Ocean on Friday. Gives a very unsettled start to the weekend, but heights build through the country during the weekend into the early part of next week. The trend is towards high pressure over Scandinavia, bringing a chilly easterly flow. Yes, so not going to be a heat wave, but certainly going towards drier weather, anyway, as we're moving 
into the Easter weekend. That high pressure sticks around. We showed you this on the uh, second Easter update. That high pressure sticks around through Easter. Especially begins to pull back out into the Atlantic. Um, maybe hinting back to try and drop in and normally. But basically high pressure dominates the first half of April. And um, that will be a significant change on what we've had during March. It has course been a very wet and unsettled month. GFS 6 is out again with low pressure, bringing lots of with rain on Friday and into weekend. Most areas low pressure clear away, high pressure building through the country and into northern parts of Europe as well. Big area of high pressure taking over through the early part of next week. Winds coming in from like a bit of an east north easterly direction, and that high pressure sticking around up to day 10 as a Scandinavian high. So, not a heat wave, but certainly a drier trend anyway. And, um, you know, with an easterly flow, probably a bit chill. Chilly, but certainly looking drier. Now, as we get towards Easter, uh, the high pressure begins to reach towards the Azores high, and I reckon this will start bringing up something a little bit warmer as well. So by the Easter weekend, possibly going to proper sort of spring weather then, and that carries on beyond that. That was quite nice, actually. It was a rain to the north, yes, but uh, high pressure sort of through the country and in a position to bring some proper, some proper mild, warm spring-like uh, weather, finally. So dry and uh, and spring-like there as we get to the 13th of April, which is far as we go to GFS 6. We might be seeing signs of spring here, everyone. I mean, by that, I mean, I know we're having mild days at the moment, but it's unsettled, it's cloudy a lot of time. You know, we might be seeing the first signs of proper spring with, uh, you know, an ex extended spell of not only dry weather, but also warmer weather, sunnier weather, and what now? Now, if you enjoy the video, please hit you like, share, subscribe. Thank you so much, everybody, for doing that. Around five subscribers, four or five subs, will get us to 15.7k. So please give us a sub, tell friends about to subscribe as well. Thank you so very much, everyone, for doing that. Right, GM, with low pressure, with lots of unsettled weather on Friday and into weekend. As well, gradually through the weekend, so next week, high pressure beginning to reach here. country is going up towards Scandinavia or trying to, um, but it looks drier and relatively pleasant through the early part of next week with GM. As long as we get day 10, which is Good Friday actually, 7th of April, um, that high pressure bridging through the country, so definitely a, a trend towards drier weather. And I think the temperature will be um, okay with that as well, to be honest. Uh, and then the ECMWF is looking uh, very unsettled. Again, on Friday into the weekend, gradually trending towards higher pressure. Here we go. Find high pressure building through uh, the country. Uh, this time going quite a way north, though, compared to the other models. So by day 10, good Friday, 7th of April, we're bringing quite a, what looks like quite a chilly, maybe even quite cold, east or northeasterly wind. Still, nevertheless, trending in the same direction as most of the other models, which is towards higher pressure anyway, and uh, drying things out. This is the uh, precipitation forecast based on that ECM run from Tometio.com. Initially, lots of heavy showers and long smells of rain. It's looking very unsettled there at the end of the week as well. A wet end to a wet March. That carries on into opening days of April, but through the first week of April, the trend into dry weather down south anyway. Still stays a little bit unsettled though up in the north. Um, I say look by day 10, which is 7th of April, so, you know, you see high, high pressure starting to kill off some of these showers, but still a little bit mixed with the GM up to uh, day 10. Means there'll be options on the table within the ECM ensemble today for day 10, gets us to be 7th of April. 10 members of the ECM ensemble with low pressure for the country combined with high pressure around uh, Greenland, so that looks very cool and uh, unsettled as well. Another 10 with high pressure around Greenland and Iceland. Low pressure is through the northwest Europe. That has wind in from a chilly northeasterly direction. 10 with high pressure out in the Atlantic. So again, that's bringing in chilly northeasterly winds, but is mostly dry. 9 with high pressure reaching more through the country. So, you know, low pressure low Scandinavia. We're close to bringing down some cold air from the north, but certainly... I think that's slightly less cold, actually. Six with low pressure through the country. That looks unsettled. And then uh, another six with high pressure through the country. I think the trend is towards higher pressure there by day 10. Um, and if you go towards two weeks out, these are the options that we've got. This gets us to the 12th of April. 21 members of the ECM on with low pressure. Right? East high pressure to our west. Probably bringing in a chilly 
quite cold northerly wind with that. 16, though, with high pressure ridging up from the Azores, low pressure out in the Atlantic. That's turning dry for the south, and it should be turning warmer in the south as well. And 14, with high pressure just to our west and northwest. So that's going to be mostly dry. It could be a little bit cool with that wind coming in from the northeast. But, you know, that is towards high pressure as well. It's not a done deal this is not a given but we might 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 after a very unsettled and wet wet march be seeing the first signs real signs of uh, a shift towards a uh, much higher pressure into april CFSB two week periods finally means a 500 middle bar height anomalies broke down in two week periods. The first week period, potential of 28 March, 3rd of April. 10 weeks still looking unsettled, of course, with more spells of rain to come. Um, CFS keeps that going into week two as well. So the 4th to the 10th of April, with below average heights, low pressure in the North Atlantic and into West Europe as well. That stays unsettled also. Week three! is going to be the 11th, 17th of April. Higher pressure then to our south. So lower pressure way to the northwest. Starting to bring up more of a southwest. So that's turning milder. And in the south probably a little bit drier. And then by week four, which is the 18th to the 24th of April, high pressure is in Otopic Country then. And uh, what's going on? Highlight. What's happening with my highlight today? Um, no, let's do that again. For a week four from the 18th, 24th, of April, high pressure is in over top of the country, and uh, that is in a position to be bringing up some much milder, warmer air as well. So the CFS gets there in the end, but it takes until week four to really settle things down and uh, bring us uh, proper spring weather. Might happen a little bit before that, I have to say, given some of the uh, model output. But uh, as I said, not a given, not a done deal at the moment, just a case of watch this space. Right, we're done. If you enjoyed the video, then please can you like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so very much, everybody, for doing that. Drop a comment, let us know what you think about this and all of our videos. And don't forget to tell your friends about Gals Love. It's, it's amazing, it's incredible. And thank you so very much, everybody, for doing that. Right, just so coming up tomorrow, so on 6 a.m. upload, we will have the excellent USA forecast as well tomorrow. And uh, if all of that wasn't up, we're going to be live streaming our 10 to 14 day at uh, 6 p.m. It will be the final uh, Wednesday live stream, probably until we get into the summer. So Wednesday streams will also be stopped. Uh, for a little while, a few weeks, while well, I have a bit of a rest um, through the spring. So, uh, yeah, one last Wednesday live stream to come tomorrow at 6 pm. As I did live stream yesterday, uh, I'll show you a little bit of long range in that Wednesday live stream. Uh, as well, so it'll be like 10 to 14 day and also combined with a little bit of long range. So, gonna be an interesting live, and I shall see you for that at 6 pm tomorrow. You enjoy the rest of your Tuesday, and uh, for this one, that's all for now. And thanks for watching.